Remember Rahul Yadav, the founder of Housing.com, once considered as India's most exciting startup, which bagged a funding of around $70 million at a valuation of $250 million from none other than SoftBank. Of course you do. We all do. It's not easy to forget Rahul Yadav, especially as Rahul's very public spat and subsequent fallout with Housing.com investors made pretty spicy headlines. Well, Rahul Yadav is back. And in his second innings, he has joined hands with one of India's most successful and experienced business heads in real estate, Anuj Puri. In Mr. Puri's newly launched venture, Anna Rock, as Chief Product and Technology Officer. Anuj and Rahul are both with us here in the CNBC TV18 Mumbai studio. Gentlemen, thank you so much for speaking to us. Thank you, Vanisha. Thank you. All right, Anuj, first question to you. You picked up quintessentially what's who's known as the bad boy of Indian startups as your CTO and product head. So I'm wondering, how will this partnership work? <laughs> Considering you have an unshakable gentleman image. <laughs> so, uh, Manisha, interesting question. Uh, you know, I, I would say is uh, three or four things. Uh, one, uh, you know, Rahul and I dated each other for nearly four and a half months. Uh, you know, I would ah, have met okay. uh, Rahul 25 or 30 times uh, to, mm -hmm. you know, really understand. I was very, very impressed uh, with his ability on really three things. One, uh, technology, and, you know, that he's proven before as well in the way that he set up his previous enterprise. Uh, second, on real estate. Um, you know, although I've been in the industry for a very long time, what I got to understand from Rahul on the real estate, uh, not many people have that grip on that sector. And the third, very interestingly, you know, a lot of us miss is the ability to understand the customer and the need of the customer and what the consumer really is looking at on the digital platform. So those were mm -hmm. the three things that uh, I felt is uh, Rahul really brought onto the table, uh, digital technology and understanding of the consumer and the real estate uh, program. I also felt is that his okay. uh, interpersonal skills uh, were pretty good uh, when, when you actually met up with him uh, in a lot more informal environments. Um, and that's why you see him you know, in his t-shirt and me in my jacket and suit and tie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So three things, uh, 25 to 30 dates. It, it, you need to be a Rahul Yadav to get those many dates with an Anuj Puri. All right, Rahul, you, you're beginning your second innings as a CTO and not CEO. Yeah. Are you comfortable with that? Uh, so in my last venture at housing, you know, I, I had uh, actually requested the, the board that you know, I want to be the chief product officer at the company and focus mm -hmm. on product and technology, you know, because this was becoming more of, uh, you know, <coughs> board meetings and all that. So I, I was more comfortable with product and technology and that was always my passion. So, so and you know, in the industry also, I felt uh, that mm -hmm. all these platform, be it, you know, housing, 90 and Magic Bricks, all they have like really successful on the demand side, like a lot of people are coming on on these platform, but uh, the underlying infrastructure in the whole, you know, transaction piece was missing, you know, so, so I feel that okay. piece needs to be, you know, built first and uh, uh, so that's why, you know, uh, I partner with that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you've just given me a hint of what you uh, plan to do, but last time when we sat across for your big interview, your big mantra was solving or fixing a problem. What do you see as a big problem you can help Anarok fix for the India's real estate market? Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, See, in, be it in China and in, in the U.S., there is a, in residential sector, there are brokerage firms that are, you know, facilitating transaction in the tune of 30 to 40 percent of the market share. In India, we don't have any brokerage firm that's doing even 1 percent right now. So I think we have really large opportunity in, in front of us. So, and it's going to be end to end. Uh, you know, you need, you need technology touch also and you need uh, very solid on ground execution also. So, you know, yeah. Okay, so you know, Anuj has already said that when you meet uh, Rahul, we see a far more mature person with very good interpersonal skills. Your last stint, of course, and you blame media as well for it, <laughs> partly for painting you as a bad boy, very brash, etc. How are you? How are we going to see Rahul in his new avatar? Uh, 
See, I, I was like kind of burnt out. I would say uh, third year of my, uh, you know, in, in last venture and, uh, uh, you know, yes, you know, I was very young and, you know, immature at that end. So, uh, so I'm learning patience and, you know, uh, dip, you know, to answer in a diplomatic manner and uh, I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rahul being diplomatic itself is a new avatar, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, tell me a little bit about uh, the previous businesses between your housing.com or after your housing.com stint. You also looked at an intelligent interface. You also registered a company called Rental Solutions in March 2016. So what happens to those ventures? Did they not take off? Are they now in cold storage, finished forever? Yeah, so uh, after housing, I was clear that, you know, either I need to do real estate or, uh, or you know, build a product called like intelligent interface you know and uh, i choose intelligent interface and then we try to work with government uh, and i would say we just wasted four or five months there it you know, it was a small experiment that that didn't work out i think uh, it will take another couple of decades you know once the government is ready to really really work with you know uh, uh, mm -hmm. a tech savvy entrepreneur yeah so maybe in my kids can All work right. with the government not not my generation <laughs> Okay, your kids can work. I'm telling you, the number of headlines this uh, gentleman can give us, Anuj, he'll beat you. <laughs> Hollow on that one. All right, back to you, Rahul. I will come to you, Anuj. Uh, Rahul, where do you think uh, housing.com went wrong? I mean, look at it. By the time it merged with Prop Tiger, it was sitting on a loss of over 400 crores. And even peers such as Prop Tiger aren't really faring much, despite the fact that they have a hybrid model. See, housing was mainly a rental platform the entire you know founding team or initial 100 people they were all like below age 24 25 they never purchased any house so so we were a rental focused company uh, we were trying to build a buying selling section uh, when i left i think the biggest mistake uh, the company did was they shut down the rental section uh, mm -hmm. they, they thought that the real revenue is in the buying and selling and not in the rental so they shut down and you know they lost all the users and traffic i think that was one very big mistake uh, second uh, you know i think they should have done some uh, in buying and selling some really large partnerships with uh, you know some of the really large brokerage houses uh, i think earlier mm -hmm. they were in between they tried to build their own uh, transaction layer also in house they said they will close the transaction i think so you can't a brokerage firm takes like you know experience like you know Anuj Puri and all to build and it's a very long time uh, an internet hmm. company can't really you know have thousands of boys on ground you know uh, closing the transaction so uh, so I think there is a there's a confusion it's still uh, I think they don't know what to do and that's why the board decided to get uh, after that you know so, get so out do of you, it do you Actually, you know, uh -huh. uh, yeah, so, you know, like the SoftBank, you know, uh, handed it over to some other management that they don't know what to do. And then uh, even the Prop Tiger and the merged entity also, I think, uh, I, I think there is a, there, a lack of direction. Uh, yeah. Okay, lack of direction. What would you do differently than Prop Tiger? Because uh, the model is pretty much similar. Rahul, you answer first, then I'll go to Anuj. Uh, if I was there, you know, uh, it's a two pieces. One is the demand side and the second is on ground execution wise, you know. Uh, I let the demand team go more aggressive in capturing more demand and I'll, you know, uh, the execution piece, you need to make more stronger, train, you know, your, your boys properly, you, know, you need to recover your, you know, uh, amount from developers properly. So that piece I think is already sorted uh, with Anuj and the other piece, you know, I'll be, I'll be building here. Okay. Are you relieved that you have somebody like Anuj to work with who can handle the investors? I think that was the tricky part of your last stint, the most tricky part of your last stint. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I love product and, you know, technology piece and, and solving the problem. Uh, and, and I'm happy that I'll be able to focus there and, uh, you know, not get distracted with other things. 
All right, not get distracted. Anuj, back to you. Anurag, yeah. now tell me, broking company trying uh, to go online or actually have a very, very strong technology platform. But if I look at the closest hybrid model, like Prop Tiger, right? Not doing too well. Loss, uh, FY16 loss of about 58 crore. What will you do differently at Anurag? I mean, how is it different, so much more different than Prop Tiger? So Manisha, I want uh, more competitors to come in this space. Uh, I think uh, the more competitors uh, like ourselves and others uh, who are getting more mature, more professional, if they come in this space, you know, we'll be able to differentiate ourselves from uh, the street uh, broker who may not be as ethical as you know uh, we as corporates are trying to become. So clearly, you know, our intent and and best wishes are to uh, the competitors who are getting into this field or are already in this field because we'll be able to then together uh, differentiate ourselves from uh, the rest of the uh, perhaps not as ethical uh, brokers uh, who have been trying to flock a, a lot of the product and under the era of uh, RERA, uh, Real Estate Regulation Act, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to start to see that this profile will actually, which is the corporate profile, will actually gain because of transparency and compliance. Uh, what okay. uh, what I, I you know our focus is going to be a lot uh, on the demand and the lead generation, which is as what Rahul said is that he's going to really focus on, and uh, the focus oh. on the offline. Uh, Manisha is going to be bringing in 20 odd years of experience that we've had uh, in being able to understand the relationship with various stakeholders, uh, whether those are developers or financial institutions or the consumer and uh, trying to uh, bring in the right talent, uh, professional talent, train them uh, so that they are more efficient in being able to close the transactions okay. from the leads that uh, Rahul uh, provides. So that's what the two tier uh, focus is going to be on the demand and then uh, on very strong execution uh, through the prior experience and exposure. So what will you do differently in a lead gen through technology is what, I, uh, what I'm trying to understand. Is, are the algos going to work to basically give you a better grip on what the buyer wants? Uh, are you going to like, you know, segment markets better? Lead gen so far is a very, very, to me it seems like a simple thing. You capture the leads and then you go and attack them with the broker. Um, see, if, if you look... So uh, how will technology... Let me rephrase the question, Anuj, and make it easier. So what do you think uh, Rahul will bring to the table in terms of the tech sophistication to Anarok to make that legion process a far more exciting one for the Indian market or something that we've not seen so far? Um, and, you know, I'll let Rahul answer that. Uh, but, you know, one thing that I would say is, Manisha, uh, you know, every time that I've dealt with Rahul, uh, his understanding has been what does the consumer want? All that he's really looking at it is that what is the requirement of the consumer and what is it that the consumer is looking at on the digital piece? So clearly I believe is that uh, the, the, the platform that uh, Rahul is in the process of creating is uh, different given that his focus is less as much on the technology but more on the product and that product definition is being led by the consumer, uh, which I'm not so mm. sure that the rest of the platforms have thought through that. I think many have thought through on the technology side, uh, but you know, really looking at the consumer and then working completely backwards uh, towards the technology through the product is what I believe is you're going to find that different than what uh, has been done before. Okay, Rahul, explain that different. Uh, See, in my last company, I, I built the rental platform uh, and, mm -hmm. and consumers, you know, loved it. I had no experience of home buying and all and I'm, you know, last one year I have been, I've been learning, learning that. So here I'll be building the, the buying platform, you know. If, you, if you're looking to buy a home today, uh, you go on internet and you go to all these current platform, I mean, I mean they don't help. Uh, so, so th this will be the India's the first, uh, you know, uh, a platform that's really going to help uh, home buyers. So, so this will be the I, I call it the first real platform in, in the category. Uh, and second, what okay. I'll be doing is 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 uh, 
working as a bridge between existing platform and 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 the on ground execution we are we are in a complementary business we are not in a competing business i think the whole uh, and they're already uh, are very successful at generating leads but they're not able to generate revenue they're not able to have right partner who can close so so that is another piece i'll be i'll be working on being a bridge between portals and, and on ground okay interesting anuj final question to you still uh, doing the rounds that you're going to be buying out two of jll's pe fund after buying the residential business you've also floated your own fund to do group buying of houses which are not getting sold so you know buy it at a lower value and then find buyers for it tell first corroborate this news of buying out two of jll's pe pe funds can you give us breaking news there <laughs> So Manisha we are in the Can process uh, we we are we are in the process uh, of uh, of doing it uh, you know obviously there is a lot of regulatory framework that you have to go through uh, that uh, but it is uh, it is true that we are in the process uh, of uh, taking over the management uh, of the two funds that were floated uh, under the JLL uh, banner um, and you know hopefully in the next few weeks uh, that transition should get uh, completed Uh, the focus of those funds uh, is really fourfold. Uh, one is to provide equity to the developers. Uh, second is to be doing debt kind of deals through that uh, fund. Third is a mezzanine, which is a quasi mixture of debt and equity. And fourth, as you rightly said, is it's the apartment buying, uh, where we are looking to buy completed uh, apartments uh, in bulk at a discount, and then over a period of time sell those at the market value. Okay, fair enough. All that I can say is, gentlemen, uh, looks like the dating has happened very beautifully over the last four months. Uh, the marriage also succeeds, uh, Rahul. Final question: Mature, like you said, yes, a more mature Rahul. But give me one other quality you wish to have through your second innings or second stint. Uh, <laughs> it's the only only patience. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I think, and that's that's I'm already focusing on. Um, that's it. Okay, patience and maturity, gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me and wishing both of you all the best and a successful working stint together. Thank you. Thank you very much, Manisha.